I'm fairly... Ugh, what is going on? Just sit up there, you bitch. Hi, I'm back for another video and I didn't sing it this time. So hi, I'm back. It's been a little while. How you been? So today I'm doing a very, very overdue favourite shit from... What are we up to now? So it'll be June slash July. <laughs> Even though we're in August. Sorry. No one cares. So I've just got a bunch of random sh**. I guess I'll start with the stuff that's on top of the pile over here that you cannot see. So that's like skincare stuff. Going back to the me feeling like a bad vegan thing from, I think it was the last video I did possibly, where I'm like, oh, if I find out something's got beeswax in it, I'll just use it up and then never buy it again. And that makes me a terrible vegan. I don't know if it actually does, but sometimes my conscience is a little bit weird about it. I've been like pretty hellbent on going through everything in my bathroom and going back to completely 100% cruelty free. Um, the majority of my stuff has been cruelty free. There's been a couple of things that I didn't actually check. My previous skincare was vegan and cruelty free. I don't really remember what it was called, but I left it at my friend Dan's house. Stands now. Congratulations. You've got a face scrub. You're welcome. You would know this by now because it was probably about a month ago. <laughs> um, yeah, so I didn't have any left and Priceline I think was having some kind of sale. So I went and bought this Sukin. Is it Sukin? Super green. So this is just a face scrub. I'm not going to bother reading the back because there's a bunch of stuff, but it's like, you probably can't even read. No, you you can't read that. No sulfates, no synthetic fragrances, no animal derivatives, no harsh detergents, no propylene glycol. I don't know what that is. No artificial colors, no triethylene. I mean, I don't know what that is either. No mineral, no mineral oils, no EDTA, no parabens, Australian made, natural, no animal testing, vegan. <laughs> Got it from Priceline. I think I think I paid like five bucks for it. I don't know, they were having like a 75% off skincare thing. I think it's somewhere around, I want to say like $15? 13? I don't know, something like that. It's a little bit more expensive because I'm an absolute tight ass when it comes to like beauty things. You only need like the tiniest little bit. You mix it with a little bit of water, scrub it all over your face. It's a really fine scrub as well. The, the one that I left at Dan's house was, um, I think it was an oatmeal scrub, which is nice. It, it was really gentle. I think it was for sensitive skin, which I don't really have sensitive skin, but I prefer those kinds of products because they're not as like, <laughs> you know. I only wash my face with this, I think twice a week. You're supposed to only do it once, I think. Oh, it says once or twice a week. So I use this twice a week. Usually it's on a Friday night because if I'm going to film, I'll do it on the weekend and I'll wear makeup. I don't wear makeup during the week to work. I haven't for like a few months now and my skin's really benefiting from it. So because of that, I sometimes don't even cleanse my skin. I'll just get like warm water and do the man thing where you don't use soap and you just go and that's fine I don't really wash my face in the morning sometimes I'll use a little bit of witch hazel to give it a little bit of a freshen I don't have it here but my like ride or die moisturizer is just straight rosehip oil I think I'm using a Sukin one at the moment as well just in a little dropper I usually do like three drops in the morning and put all over whatever and then I'm gone I tend to get a little bit of redness in my cheeks and my chin and my nose so that's been helping with that as well which is really cool I've gone on a really long tangent about skincare maybe I should do a separate video comment below if you think I should do a separate video on what skincare I use and like my process and stuff I'm actually don't even because I'm gonna do it because I'm keen I like talking about skin stuff my next one is Sukin as well uh, detoxifying clay mask these are super greens by the way this is paraben free as well it says it's suitable for all skin types I'm probably about halfway yeah I'm halfway through I guess it smells really good so does the cleanser I don't know why but they smell amazing this is got kale spirulina parsley and chlorella offer a super green blend of detoxifying antioxidants and vitamins to promote healthy youthful skin avocado and baobab what? lock in moisture while goji berry encourages a dewy complexion so I only put on like a pretty thin layer of this because my skin is naturally on the oiliest side but like now because it's winter it doesn't really get that bad and because I don't put a lot of product on my face anymore my skin doesn't really get that oily but this is just nice to kind of give it a bit of a clean and a bit of a freshen and a bit of a boost I kind of only do this once every two weeks usually after I've had a really like lava hot bath just because it feels nice 
I'm gonna do hair stuff now. P.S. Do you like my hair? I said on Instagram that it's like 80s year 12 formal. I like it a lot. I got my colour redone by Chris at Edit last week. Gave it the first post-colour wash last night. My favourite stage of getting my hair like a psycho colour is like after the first wash because especially with the green it kind of comes out really dark which is lovely but after the first wash it kind of like washes away the first little layer and then it's like bam green. Anyway so while I was at edit last week I picked up some stuff. <sighs> okay so I'm gonna start with my shampoo because this is my favorite ever. This is the India hair word I can't pronounce shampoo but Icon is the brand. India is like the the blend I guess you could say. This is my favorite favorite brand of hair care stuff like ever. So good and I hadn't used it until I started going to edit a few years ago and I bought the shampoo and the conditioner and I think I bought something else. I think I, at the time I had like a little bottle of the argan oil but I used that up. Did I? Hmm. I can't remember. But yeah, this is beautiful. The actual shampoo is in my shower because I washed it, used it to wash my hair. So this is just a box. But box smells good. I think it smells the yeah, it's amber. So if you know what amber smells like, oh my god, it's so nice. So I've still got a F ton of conditioner left because I shampoo my hair twice because I only wash it once a week. So that helps cleanse it a lot nicer. And this is like a, it doesn't really foam like normal, normal shampoos do because it's a salon, con, a salon shampoo and it's like, pretty sure it's like sulfate free and all that kind of jazz. I don't know, there's a lot of words on this box and I'm not reading it. But anyway, so it doesn't, it doesn't foam up like a, like a normal shampoo does, which is nice. I actually don't like foaming shampoos anymore. They just feel really synthetic and kind of gross. So I'm very happy to have this back again. And I'm also trying for the first time this Linden Plex Fort stuff. The box is so shiny. But yeah, Linden Plex Fort Bond Filler Number no. 2 and it's a spray. Oh, so Edit uses a lot of Linden stuff and I admittedly don't know much about the brand but I do know that I really love their CC cream and I should replace it because it's amazing. This is a bond filler. I think Chris used some kind of version of this when he originally got my hair from black to green um, to like make it feel a little bit nicer. So this is a spray and you just spray it on after you've washed and conditioned your hair it's just like a little after thing and leave it in and style it as normal whatever um, I feel like it's made my hair feel really soft I'd use like a weird concoction of hair stuff at the moment I've got Asano argan oil which I think I just got from Woolworths which I guess is kind of like any other argan oil it's really lovely it smells nice and just like shh. so I do like a pump of the argan oil I have I don't remember what brand it is, but I have a hair BB cream, CC cream, whatever it is. I'll put in a little squirt of that. And then Christmas last year from Price Attack, I like they had some offer. You spend over $80, you get like this little gift box. So in this gift box was this, I can't remember what brand it is either. Pink squeezy tube. Don't know. It's supposed to be anti-frizz stuff. You put in when your hair's wet, heat protect and all that jazz. Put that in, mix it all together, put it in my hair when it's wet. And last night I just let it air dry and my like natural hair wave just kind of came back which was really nice. And I use that concoction all the time and my hair waves don't happen, but I use less of it and use this spray and then my hair waves happened. Not like this, this was a curling iron for two hours and very tired arms. And so next, as you're probably aware, especially if you follow me on Instagram, I am a lover of red lipstick. This is Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star. My ride or die bright red is Red Rum from Jeffree Star. I usually buy like two, two or three tubes at a time because I know I go through it so quickly. I don't really wear a lot of nudes, but I think it was probably about two months ago. I went to this gig and I did like, I think I did like a, a really subtle purple smoky eye situation and a nude lip and I really liked it. I'll, I'll put the photo here. And I really liked it and I'm like, I only have one nude lipstick that's about six years old and I probably shouldn't put that on my face anymore so I ordered <sighs> yeah so this is the Jeffree Star nude mini liquid lip kit I guess you'd call it this is really funny too do you get it because it's nudes bunch of colors in here I haven't really played with them much um, I think mannequin will be a pretty perfect match for me some of them posh slice I think is too cool toned and I think it was Leo is gonna be a little bit too orangey for me but rose matter looks really nice 
Um, I like androgy androgyny looks nice. It might be a little bit too brown, but I'm gonna have a play around. Nude lips kind of scare me, which is weird because like for a lot of a lot of people I know it's like the opposite where like bright lips scare people but yeah, I think this is like colored lips is just me and it feels weird to do anything that's like not normally me so I don't know but I, I just think it's cute and it's like a good way to try out a whole bunch of different colors they have a red one as well but I already own most of his red and pink ones so yeah moving on to the next thing before I move on to the last thing I'm wearing the next thing these earrings I don't know how well you can see them underneath my 80s hair but they're lightning bolts and they're hollow lightning bolts filled with freaking glitter they're amazing they're from power and stiletto I don't remember how much I paid for them it was probably a little bit extravagant but it's worth it I'm I put them in my second holes because I'm stretching my ears at the moment and their studs but like they just sit there perfectly next to my little really sad sad eight gauge tunnels I love them they're amazing they match my 80s hair they're really good they also have oh Christ they have so many I'm just gonna link them below they have so many pairs of earrings that I want like on to the second last thing not the last thing dun, 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 dun. so my very clever and very talented friend Daniel Sun did this. He was nice enough to give me a little print of Clever Girl here. Little wrapped up. Super rad. I actually need to put it in a frame. It's been sitting in my office for a little while and I don't want it to get ruined but so effing cute. Speaking of Daniel Sun, if you saw my last, my last video? Yeah, my last video uh, reviewing 13th Sparrow, you will know that I went to the Tattoo Expo and got some new pretties and they healed because it's been, what are we now, three weeks? Yeah, three weeks in, I think. So they're all healed. So this is baby number one. There isn't really a story behind most of my tattoos. I got this one because if you've seen Death Becomes Her, it's the um, the youth elixir, like in the little vial that they take that makes them live forever. So this is this one. I might see if I can dim it. There we go. Um, Dan and I have a bit of a like a running joke that whenever we have a stupid idea, <laughs> we say it's for science. So. You dropped this cool little science beaker for me. He redid my So Sassy It Hurts little heart situation as well. Here's this one again in better lighting. That's it. That's all my stuff. My favorite shit from... Oh, that's not a very good song. Why do I try and sing everything? Like, I don't like musicals, but then I try and turn my life into a musical. I have problems. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You can hit the notification bell if you want to. Like, I upload so sporadically. The original plan was I'm going to upload every Saturday. But I work and I have a family and I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to get my photography back off the ground again. So I'm pretty preoccupied occupied and busy and, and whatever so the Saturday thing didn't work so I feel like the little notification bell may help you if you want to be like next level stalker on my YouTube <laughs> and then I'm like oh hey Scarlett decided not to be lazy this week and uploaded a video am I being a little bit too narcissistic by saying that people might want to watch I don't know anyway do that if you want to I'm trying to post better content on Instagram and keep like the lame the lame kind of stuff on my story and just post like actual pretty things to look at on my feed so yeah I'm like changing it up a little bit I'm trying really hard I hit 900 followers which is like freaking insane considering I don't really do anything that exciting at all so yeah totally follow me on Instagram I'll put the little thing below it's at scarlet the sometimes pin up with a dot in between each word I'm on Twitter I'm still not good at Twitter because I'm like so lazy and if I want to talk about stuff I'll talk to people about stuff I don't know someone teach me how to use Twitter if you like these like favorites kind of videos tell me in the thing in the nethers I also want to know what kind of skincare you guys use because I'm a nosy bitch and it's a little bit weird to ask people what they wash their face with, but I just did. If you like my crazy psycho hair, let me know in the nethers. Also, I was talking to Chris, my hairstylist from Edit last week, and I think I want to change my color. Like, the green was really fun, and I read on the internet that green was balancing and promoted harmony, and I really needed that at the time. And I, you know, like, I just wanted to be here from Ghost World for a little while.
and I was almost going to cut my hair into a bob and everything. I'm kind of glad I didn't now. It's been kind of weird to go back to getting like stairs when I go shopping because I had bright pink hair and then I went to black which is like not normal but normal -er. and then no one would like give me weird stares and now it's like back to the people giving me weird stares again. I'm like ah oh, yeah so that's what this feels like to be judged by people in a conservative town. Hooray! What else is happening? I don't know. I don't want to ramble on for ages. I'm just gonna leave it at that and I have to go shopping now because there is a Korean grocery store in Grand Central if you're a Toowoomba local that is calling my name because I need to make kimchi and they have all the stuff so I'm gonna go make kimchi. So I'm gonna go shopping now and if you stuck around through my ramblings again congratulations you've got self-control or your hand is asleep and you couldn't close it or the battery in the mouse is flat and you couldn't close it. But thanks! See you next time! Bye!